Good morning everybody and today I am going to tell you about sorts and uh, sorts means what is the meaning of sorts and how to simplify the sorts actually and I will tell you a fantastic trick and most amazing trick that means within 2 to 3 seconds you can find out the answer ok so first of all what is the meaning of sort see here square root of 3 square root of 4 cube root of 27 and um, square root of 7 like this this is the radical sign this one is the radical sign and under the radical sign that must be a rational number ok it may be a whole number, it may be a rational number, but not a rational number. Okay. So if you can if you remove the radical sign, then that is not a sort. That means here the answer is 2. There is no radical sign. Clear. So in this case, the answer is 3. So this is not a sort. Okay. And here we cannot remove the radical sign. Here we cannot remove the radical sign. That means the answer will be irrational number. Here the answer will be irrational number. If the result is an irrational number, then it is called a sort. And uh, if the radical sign will remove, if you can remove the radical sign, this is the order of the order. 3. And this is the second order. This is also second order. This is the order 3. Here the order is 3. Here the order is 2. Here the order is 2. Here the order is 2. Clear? So that means you can write 2 here or you may not write. Okay. So, now question is that if the radical sign is present, then it is called a sort. If the radical sign is not present, it is not a sort. Okay. Now, how to simplify the sorts? I am going to give an example. See here. How to simplify this one? Okay, first of all, I am going in a detailed process. <coughs> 6 can be divided into 2 parts. You should divide a split 6 into 2 parts. And 6 can be written as 1 into 6. And 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Okay, so these two, some of these two numbers should be equal to this number. So here 6 plus 1 7, so it is not 7. So here 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So here it is 5. So you should consider this case. That means we can write 5 plus 2 plus 3. Then 2 and root 6. Root over of a b can be written as root a into root b. So root 6 can be written as root 2 into root 3. Root 2 into root 3. Okay, now, and it will be better if you write 3 first, then 2. Always write the larger one first and the smaller one second. Because if there will be negative sign, it will be better for you. Okay. So, 3 can be written as root 3 square and 2 can be written as root 2 square plus 2 into root 3 into root 2. A square plus B square plus 2 A B. This is a plus b whole square. Root 3 plus root 2 whole square. And the square root is there. So answer is root 3 plus root 2. Square root of cancel out. So answer is this one. So how to write directly? So directly you can write like this. 5 plus 2 root 6 whole root of 1 is equal. If there is a positive sign here, so you should write plus here. Square root of this one, square root of this one. Clear? So you have to split 6 into 2 parts so that the sum of 2 numbers should be equal to 5. And here the numbers are already I have told you 2 and 3. So write the larger one first and the smaller one second. So this is the answer. See here. Okay. Let us see different examples. I am going to give you some examples. See here, 
8 plus 2 root 15 then 9 minus 2 root over of 14 then 4 plus 2 root 3 root over then 8 plus 2 root 7 then 8 minus 2 root 15 then 13 minus 2 root 22 whole root over then 7 minus 4 root 3 whole root over ok now let us see now you should split 15 into two parts so that the sum of two numbers will be equal to 8 so 5 and 3 because 5 3 is 15 and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so and here plus sign is there so plus like the square roots and I have told you 5 and 3 so this is 5 this is 3 clear and if this is minus so put a minus sign here and you should split 14 into 2 parts so that the sum will be sum of the 2 numbers will be equal to 9 so 7 2 is 14 and 7 plus 2 is 9 clear so larger one then smaller one clear now here you should there is a positive sign here so write the plus sign and put the square roots and you should split 3 into 2 parts so that the sum of the 2 numbers will be equal to 4 3 1 the 3 clear so here 3 here 1 now plus sign is there so plus you should split 7 into 2 parts and the sum of 2 numbers should be equal to 8 7 1 the 7 so 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 so this is 7 this is 1 clear and here this negative sign is there so put square roots and you should split 15 into 2 parts so that the sum will be equal to 8 so 5 and 3 5 3 is 15 and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so here 5 here 3 ok here 22 and negative sign is there first of all put a negative sign clear and you should split 22 into 2 parts so that the sum will be sum of the 2 numbers will be 13 so 11 to 22 so 11 plus 2 it is 13 so you should write 11 here it is 2 clear and now here negative sign is there so put a negative sign clear and you should split 3 so here sorry I am going to tell you the tree already you have cleared these examples because here in all the examples there is 2 clear so if there is uh, be different other than 2 then how to simplify it for that I am going to give you some concept 2 can be written as square root of 4 clear so similarly 3 can be written as 3 is 9 square root of 9 7 can be written as square root of 49 like this is that clear to you or not? Now see here. Now the trick is that I am going to give you 2 to 3 examples. See here. 1 example 7 plus 4 root 3. Another 11 minus 6 root 2. Another 7 minus 4 root 3. Clear? So how to solve these questions? Now you can write 4 as 7 plus 2 into 2 into root 3 2 into something and take this 2 to under root take this 2 to the under root that means 2 will be equal to I have told you 2 will be equal to under root of 4 that means instead of 2, inverse of 2, I can write square root of 4. So square root of 4 into square root of 3. It will be equal to, I have told you, root over of A into root over of B is equal to root over of AB. So square root of 4 into square root of 3. Square root of 4 into square root of 3. It will be 4 3 are 12. Square root of 12. Is that clear to you or not? So, so simply write this one as 7 plus 2 into square root of 12. 
How to write this one? So here 4 is equal to 2 into 2. So 2 into 2, it is a multiple of 2. But 2 into how much? It's equal to 4. 2 into 2. So 2 square is 4. So 4 is 12. Is that clear to you? I have written 4 root 3. So you can write directly 2. Remove 2 and remain 2. 2 square is 4. 4 into 3, 12. So 2 into root over of 12. If this will be like this, this one, 6 root 2, remove 2 first, then remain 3, 3 square is 9, clear, so 9 to 18, so it will be 18, 2 root 18, clear, so see here, so you can write uh, from this step to this step, so that means you should split 12 into 2 parts, so that the sum will be 7, so 4 and 3, so plus sign is there, so plus, it will be 4, this one will be equal to 3. Clear. So now this quantity will become now directly I am writing 2 into 3. 3 square is 9. So 9 to 18. So 2 root over of 18. Now tell me what is the answer? You should split 18 into 2 parts so that this sum of two numbers will be equal to 11. 9 to 18. And 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. So minus sign is there. So put root over. And 9 to j, so 9, this will be 2. Clear. Now, here, minus sign is there, and first of all, simplify this one. 2 into 2, so 2 square is 4, 4 is 12. I can write 7 minus 2 root over of 12. Clear. So minus sign is there, so 4 square roots, and you should split 12 into 2 parts so that the sum will be equal to 7. So it is 4 and 3. So this will be 4, this will be 3. First write larger one and then the smaller one. So this is all about the simplification, how to simplify a sum. And this is very important for your class uh, 7, 8, 9 students. It will be very essential for them and it is very very essential for competitive examinations. That means for banking and for staff selection and all these types of. And for also Air Force, Navy, like this. Okay. This part is very very important and also in for uh, BN entrance, for OTD, CTT, CD, all these examinations, these are also very important. So how to simplify this one, how to simplify the option will be like this, root 4 plus root 3, root 4 minus root 3, 3 minus root 4 and this one, see here, this quantity, again I can write root 4, root 4 means 2, 2 minus root 3. Further it can be written like this. So here 2 plus root 3 equivalent because root over 4 is 2. Even like this. Here also root over 9 it is 3. 3 minus root 2. Okay. If it can be solved then you have to find out. Okay. The answer will be like this. 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3, root 3 minus 2, root 3 plus 2 like this. Okay. So you should write like this. Okay. So perhaps this is the most easiest way which I have told you and uh, without any pressure, without any tension you can write the answer quickly ok and hardly it will take uh, 3 to 4 seconds is not it ok thank you bye bye see you in the next class